Hey everybody! Understanding how payments flow, well, that's critical to understanding how payment channels work. Whether it's a check, a wire, an ACH, a card, or of course, FedNow payments, you'll want to understand how the payments flow. One of the advantages and differentiators of FedNow is its ability to clear and settle transactions in real time, almost instantly, allowing any financial institution on the FedNow service or the FedNow network to enable their customers, their account holders, to be able to send and receive money in mere seconds. As we go through the course, it's going to become important to know what is happening at each step of the process. Let's pull out the microscope and go through a step-by-step -step overview of the FedNow payment process and flow. couple of notes before we do get started here. In our example, the Federal Reserve Banks, FRB, they will settle and execute payments and the receiver FI accepts a customer payment message. So we're just going to assume all that happens. Uh, it's commonly being referred to nowadays as the happy path. In other words, everything goes the way we would want it to go. We will have plenty of examples for when things go wrong. Yeah, things do go wrong. And we'll have those later in the course and what you will be able to do when that does happen. It is also important to note that the sender FI or receiving financial institution may either send and receive messages directly to and from FedNow, or they may designate a service provider like a processor or a core solution or some other third party like a banker's bank or a corporate credit union to act on their behalf to perform those functions. Okay, there's even some more things that are important. And we'll cover a lot of those things in other classes too, just so you know. But a participating financial institution may settle using its own Federal Reserve Bank Master Account, or it may designate a correspondent for that purpose. But you're going to have to have a master account access. Just got to be there. Let's move on to step one. Step one is the initiation. This is where it all starts. The sender, which could be an individual, a person, a consumer, or it could be a business, it could be a merchant, it could be a corporation. Well, whoever the sender is, they decide to initiate a payment through their financial institution. And most likely they're using an end user interface, which could you know, be one of these devices here, or they can be going online via a website or who knows, there's all kinds of different ways they can do it. But this is something that'll be done outside of FedNow. Really, to help protect the network, the FedNow sender FI is going to be responsible for validating the payment according to its internal processes and requirements. That's right, sender FI, you're going to have to do some validation. Note the payment, it hasn't actually entered the FedNow service just yet, and no money's moved just yet. All that has happened is that we have someone providing the sender FI with the payment instructions for a FedNow payment. Let's move on to step two. It is here in step two where things get real. Cause see in step two, this is where the sender FI submits a payment message to FedNow. Clock starts ticking, very important. Again, the sender FI may and most likely will have security and fraud controls in place before getting to step two. Here again is where the clock starts ticking and the payment is now within the FedNow service. What happens next? Oh, this is where the FedNow validates the payment message. What does validate mean? Well, what does validate mean? This is more a process for verifying that the message meets the proper formatting specifications and complies with all applicable network controls. And once completed, well, we move on to step four. Step four. Well, now FedNow sends the contents of the payment message to the receiving financial institution to seek confirmation 
that the receiving financial institution intends to accept the payment. No money has moved, not yet. FedNow has basically said, hey, receiver FI, how about that over there? What you doing? Here's some information on some money we want to send to you. Will you take this money if we send it to you? And the receiver FI is gonna be all like, hey, you know what? Let me go look and let me determine how I would handle this message. And let me determine if I'm gonna reply by saying, I accept it, I reject it, or I'll accept it, but I can't post it. See, what is really happening here is that the receiver FI, they are checking if they maintain or if they have, or if they own the account for the recipient identified in the contents of the payment message. And then, then if they will be able to post the funds to the account. So they got to make sure they got the account and they got to make sure they can post the funds to the account. Now we'll cover more of that in the funds availability and accepting without posting positions and possibilities later in the course. We'll get to it. Don't worry. But let's say they respond with, we'll take your money. I mean, I mean, they accept it. <laughs> Okay, now that's really a huge step. And you see, we're ready to move on to step five. Step five is confirmation. Confirmation is when the receiver FI sends a positive response of accept to the FedNow service, confirming that they intend to accept the payment message. Step four, they checked to see if they could. Step five, they actually sent the message saying, we can do this. Why does FedNow do this process when other payment systems will just say, here, take it. And they do that with actually out inquiring how the payment will be handled. That is really a good question. That is because steps four and five are intended to reduce the number of what we call misdirected payments and exceptions. We know there will be some exceptions and misdirected payments, and we want to reduce them as much as possible, as it is when we have exceptions that suddenly everything slows down. And we have to stop, we have to deal with those issues, and it becomes cumbersome. But in our example, everything's working great, and that means it's now time to move on to step six. Here, FedNow settles, I mean, FedNow settles the payment by debiting and crediting the designated master accounts of the sender financial institution and the receiving financial institution. It is possible this debiting and crediting could also be to the account of their correspondents. That's if they're working with correspondents, because if you remember back in step two, the payment entered the FedNow network. And by the time we got to step six, Oh, that was a lot, right? Well, all of this is expected to complete in just a few seconds. What happens if this takes longer than that? Well, that is where we have the payment timeout clock. And that is, you guessed it, another topic that we're going to go into more detail later in the course. But we're not done with our steps yet. No, we're not done with the payment flow. We just had the debiting and crediting take place. The settlement piece take place. But how do the participants know what has happened? That is where we will see step seven. Okay, step seven. Fed now sends an advice to the receiver FI and an acknowledgement to the sender FI, executing the payment order and notifying that each participant that the Federal Reserve Banks have settled the payment message. Both sides, they get notified of what's happened. Yes, yes, again, I have to let you know though, we could have correspondence involved and the correspondence enabled with the FedNow profile, whoever's enabled within that FedNow profile, they may choose to receive the notifications. Somebody's gonna get the notification. All right, are we there yet? No, it's show me the money time, yes. Step eight, this is where we have funds availability and notification to the receiver. Critical part of FedNow. It requires the receiver FI to make funds available to the recipient immediately after receiving the advice message. It's immediately after receiving the advice message. 
it is going to be important as part of this step that the receiving FI communicate with the receiver and notify their customers immediately following receipt of an advice. Work with your service providers to determine how that's going to be handled. Because this communication, it's outside of FedNow. It may be completed using a reasonable means of communication that is consistent with customer agreements. That means you're just going to have a way of notifying them. And also at this point, the sender FI that received the acknowledgement, that's the sender FI that received the acknowledgement, they should notify their sending customer that the payment to the receiving financial institution is complete. Whew, that's a lot of messaging going back and forth. And we're not done yet. Wait, what? We're not done yet? Nope, we're not done yet. Because now we have step nine. And in step nine, we have the confirmation of posting. Here, the receiver FI has the option of sending a message through the FedNow service to the sender financial institution, indicating them that the payment has been posted to the receiver or the recipient's account. See, step seven, step eight, they had the money moving around between the Fed, the receiver and the sender and even messages to the receiver and sender. Here, this is an optional message from the receiver to the sender FI, that's the receiver FI, to the sender FI, that the funds have been posted. And finally, step 10. Lots of steps. Well, in step 10, if the receiver FI sends a confirmation, if they send a confirmation of posting the message through the service, it's only polite that the sender FI should notify their customer that the funds have been made available to the recipient. Okay, it's more than polite, it's what you should do. So in step 10, that's where we have notification going to the sender FI, where the sender FI can let their sender know what has actually happened. There you go, the perfect payment in all of 20 seconds. That is again, if everything goes well and well, now it's time to move on to the next class. And for now, class dismissed. <laughs>